What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, y'all see that tent right there? I'm camping. Crystal Beachy has been begging me to go camping and we're here. But before I can get started in this awesome video, I gotta give a huge shout out to the title sponsor of this video, which is Icy Breeze. You guys, this thing right here is the reason I'm out here. It's about 85 degrees out here, it's mid-April, and there's no way I was gonna go camping without some kind of AC. Now I know what y'all are thinking that this might be a swamp cooler. This is not a swamp cooler. This is an icy breeze. This thing is seriously revolutionary. Don't tell Crystal about these Mountain Dews. I sort of snuck them because guess what? Not only is this an AC, but it's also a cooler and will hold your drinks cold for a long time. Y'all see that water right there? That's what makes this thing work. You see that tube right there? When I'm over there in that tent tonight, I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby because I've got cold air pumping all over me. What are you doing down here, bae? Fishing. What's that next to you? That's a fish I caught. <laughs> you always <laughs> gotta outdo me. This is a life, Gabe. So we actually have been here for about 45 minutes. We had some really, really cool people pull up on an airboat, which if you follow along, you knew I had an airboat before, but I sold it. These people right here pulled up on a little 300 horsepower, looked like a 12 foot boat. We actually went on a ride. I'm gonna show you that in a second. That thing was rank. But right when they pulled up, Crystal actually caught the first catfish of the day. Got our little dog redneck, got our boat, got all of our coolers, got some extra water to bathe in right there in that black drum. Got a fire pit going. I've already got her fish ready to go on the grill. Actually got a fire pit built. Got our icy breeze, which is most important. We've got all kinds of cooking stuff, chairs, tackles, and our tent right over there. Do you think we're gonna catch them once it starts getting dark or what? I think when it gets dark, we're gonna be so busy that we're gonna be sweating. Sounds good to me. You can hear a bunch of limpkins over there. There's actually a gator right there on that point. Yeah. So it's not very often that I have redneck tied up, but as you can see, just right over there, there's a gator. He's not a hundred yards from camp. He's facing the bank. He's in that hunting position where he's looking at the bank, just waiting for a coon, a deer, anything to come down there and he'd snatch it. So I'm not letting Redneck off the rope tonight. You think he'll catch me or you, babe? The alligator? Yeah. He don't want none. And to be honest with you, that gator right there is super small. They get really big. How big do you think that one was? He's, he's probably, there, huh? I don't know, eight, 10 foot tops. So back to why we're here. Crystal grew up in Kentucky and she grew up camping just like this all the time and she's been begging me to do it. We don't have the kids tonight. We got to be at the Outdoor Expo tomorrow. I said, let's go camping. We're up here in Central Florida on Lake Kissimmee and Lake Hatchney Hall and Lake Cypress right in the middle of the three. Got a good friend of mine coming up on his airboat in a little while. He's bringing some uh, minnows to catch some crappie. We're going to cook the catfish once the coals get done on this little grill, which they're not far from being done. That's just a bag of cherry wood that I bought from Bass Pro Shops. I didn't want to use like any cypress because this wood right here is native to this area and we do not want to cut it down and it's not good for cooking. Palm fronds aren't good for cooking and that's all that's really around us is cypress. So I got some cherry wood, got this really cool fire pit. This is some pine that we brought. It's also not good for cooking, but it's good for burning. We are cock locked and ready to rock, babe. Oh, yeah. What are you using for bait? Well, my favorite thing to use is chicken livers, but don't I, you like eating liver? Yeah, I love that liver. Is just, just in case we did not catch any catfish, um, I knew that the chicken livers could be back up for dinner. Would you eat them? No, I would drive to the Dollar General that we passed on the way here and get something, a honey bun or something. But I only got one thing container and I'm about halfway out of it already. We do have some live bluegills that we caught that are over there in that bucket. They're not even bluegills, they're stump knockers in that bucket that we'll start using closer to dark too. Listen, I just had a big one on. A big one? Yep. Look at her. She's over here silent but deadly. Little. I like little ones. Don't film this. He's Let little. me see. Bring him in. That's a sharpie. He is so tiny. <laughs> That's a big old big one, but that's a good eating one. That is a good size eating, ain't it? Yeah. See, I caught this one just for you. I needed it. He's cute. Can I go back to telling them about the cool AC yes, I got I'm now? Sorry, continue. They're just starting to get lit though. Fun fact about Redneck, this dog is obsessed with catfish and you're gonna hear him whine a little bit. If it gets too bad, I'm gonna put him in the tent. Now let's walk over here and show you the tent. Just got it today at Bass Pro Shops. 
got a little screen which doesn't make much sense to me because there's nothing stopping the mosquitoes from going underneath it so i don't understand the whole screen and the screen is why i bought it then you come in here i got some foam mattress pads got our clothes over there and this ac is going to go right over there in the corner what makes the icy breeze different than most portable acs it doesn't have exhaust everything is self-contained I know there's a ton of portable AC units out there, but if you were using them in a tent, you would have to duck the exhaust out of the tent. With the icy breeze, you don't. So this is how it works. Like I said earlier, these two tubes come down here and they suck the ice water up, condenses it, and all the liquid will drip back into here so it recirculates it. This thing doesn't blow cold wet air on you, it blows cold dry air, and that's what sets it apart from the rest. So right here is how you power it on. It has three speeds, high, medium, and low, which is definitely all you need. You can put it on a golf cart, a four-wheeler, a swamp buggy. You can take this thing to baseball games, any sporting events. Now it's not gonna cool down, you know, a huge area. This is a personal AC unit. If you're sitting at a baseball game, point it at you, it's gonna keep you cool. So right here is the duct work. You can either stretch this all the way out or you can just put it right here and open this. And that's what we'll do tonight in the tent. Babe, I think the coals are just about ready to cook this catfish. Oh, they definitely are. Oh, wow, that's hot. Are you ready to eat now? Uh, whenever you are. Or you wanna catch some more fish? What are you doing, making I'm a stringer? I'm gonna put them on a stringer. There you go. Think that'll do? Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> so right down this canal about, I don't know, three quarters of a mile. On the way here, Crystal was sitting up in the front with Redneck on the cooler and we passed two beautiful bald eagles and one of them had a huge nest right up in the middle of a pine tree. What I wanna know is why my rod hasn't been hit one time yet. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> so this thing right here is holding five gallons of fresh water and it's black, which I love because I've had it sitting out in the sun the entire time we've been here, which is like two hours. So it's actually really, really warm. And tonight when it's time to wash off and get all the stank off of us that water will be nice and hot take a bath? i mean we could bathe in the wash river feet. what'd you bring us to eat salad and we have salad and fish and deer meat we got deer meat too. oh yeah we did bring deer meat i forgot have, all about that we're gonna have a redneck surf and turf. so one of the features that makes this cooler so easy and so versatile is the three different ways to run it. You can run it, like I said before, on the lithium battery, which is right here already plugged in. And I can also charge that off of a battery pack that I brought with me. You can plug it into the wall or you can plug it into the car charger, which I have one of those in the boat. So no matter what, we're not gonna run out of power tonight. And I'm not gonna run out of cold air. If you're wondering how cold it gets, it'll get like 25 to 35 degrees colder than the temperature where you're at. And the flow is about equal to what would come out of the AC in your truck. So the other awesome feature is this split right here. If you're at a ball game, put the cooler between you. The husband gets one, the wife gets the other, and everybody's happy, happy, happy. Have you used this yet? Was it cooling you off? Yeah, it was cooling me off. I thought I saw you putting it on your feet. Yeah, you get hot toes in Florida. Hot, hot toes. I think it's time for me to catch a fish. I need to catch one. I have live bait on. I need to put an earthworm on because that's what she's catching them on. So to make it easy on us, I cut four pieces of PVC pipe about two foot long, one end at an angle, beat it down in the ground, and we don't have to stand here and hold the rod the entire time. Got the power poles deployed. This boat's not going anywhere. And we are settled in for a long, fun night camping or as i would like to say glamping camping would be i think if like you were sleeping under the stars and had to whittle like a fire right like didn't bring lighters and matches I think we're a good like medium right now though don't oh we you? are definitely glamping like, we have we don't have a camper we do have an ac because you had to have that i'm not going without an ac folks call me call me a sissy call me whatever you want but when there's technology at hand I'm gonna get it. So while I'm waiting on a fish to bite, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this fish ready to cook. And it's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna score it a little bit. Just like that. Take some olive oil. Rub it in just like on that on both sides. 
we're gonna take some barbecue, queuing it up. We love this stuff. Probably even gonna add a little bit, not probably, gonna add a little bit of Lowry's. Now it's not gonna get into the skin like this, so once I'm done, I'm gonna sort of get it in all those cracks. All I've done is gutted them. It doesn't look like I have, but I cut them here and cut them here and I reached in and pulled all the guts out. Now we're gonna lay them on the fire. Just like so. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be delicious. Don't forget about your palm frond here that you whittled. I'm gonna show them that right now. So if you're wondering about my skewer, all it is is one of these palm fronds. Right here is our trash bag. If you come camping like this, bring you a trash bag. Pick up everything that's here when you get here, put it in your trash bag, and when you leave, put everything that you brought in the trash bag. So this is it. I just cut it off right here, right there, and I whittle it down to the size that I need. And that's what I'm left with right over there. One beautiful little fire pit. Those coals don't look very hot, but they are hot. That's the money spot? That's it. Wait and see. Just a couple more things about the icy breeze. You guys, I know I keep talking about it, but I'm so excited about it. There's three things that sets this thing to me so far from the rest. One, it's made in America. That's the best part. Two, a no questions asked, lifetime warranty. And we got an airboat driving by. Three is just how light it is. It only weighs 16 pounds and it holds up to 30 pounds of ice. Just those three things alone sells this thing to me all day long. And it's only $289. I will tell you one thing. If you wanna come up here and go camping, don't do it on a weekend because there are so many airboats out here. Today's a weekday and there's a bunch, which is awesome. This place is so beautiful. Airboats can come up here and run. They're shallow water and they can literally run hundreds of miles across dry land. But speaking of airboats, you guys see this right here? That's the name of the people that pulled up earlier. Super awesome people. Well, they took us for a ride. I'm gonna show you a short couple minute clip of this airboat trip. Wait till you see what we jump and run down in the video. Well, we didn't run them down. They actually just crossed our path. It was pretty dope. <laughs> We jumped two or three white tails and we're right on their tail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Redneck, don't go on that thing, it is loud. You have to be deaf. It was sucking the oxygen out of my ear. Okay, hey. Awesome. Yeah. Can we get one? No, heck no. <laughs> I gotta go clean his boat now. Catfish is looking good, babe. Cooking evenly on all sides. That's another reason I put the rock. You can see how I can spin it and it'll stay in place. No bait? I got a little bit of worm left. We got plenty of worms. So I'd put you, you a good chunk. Yeah, we got three tubs of them. Good I don't understand how this live stump knocker didn't get eight, but I'm going with the earthworm because that's what she's been using. I actually started with earthworm and I caught a big old shell cracker, a big female. We're using just 20 pound test fluoro. Got a little egg sinker, about a one ounce at the bottom. Just on a little, same rig that I catch snapper on. About a one-aught circle hook, two lead weights. Because believe it or not, the, the wind's blowing about 15 out of the east, which is coming right down this canal. That's Lake Cypress and Lake Hatchney Hall is behind us and there's a little bit of current. So I'm using a little bit more weight than I would normally use to keep it from rolling back. Let it sink to the bottom. Hope for the best. Can we talk about your feet though? Why don't you have shoes on? Cause, why don't you have shoes on? Well, I'm, I, my feet are like plywood. <laughs> Your poor uh, other toe, you're about to lose your second toenail. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, don't show them. Ugh. That's bad. At least mine are painted. Well, I did it trying to get the bean bag in the boat that we found the other day. <laughs> Baby, you got a bite. Big bite, big bite. Oh, I don't. At some point, you're going to get one. Better go check on the catfish. I know it's getting close. I think we'll save the deer meat later till like a, about 10 o'clock. Yeah. A 10 p.m. snack. Well, the catfish is about done. There's a lot of fat in this fish. Look at all that white oozing out. That's all fat. Probably about five more minutes. I will say I just caught a whiff and it smells real fishy. Oh. No, I think it smells good. Ew. That's all fat. That don't look too good. Yeah, I need to get the head down by the coals a little bit more. I'm sure you want to eat the eyeballs and all that too, right? Mm -mm. Are you going to eat the tail? No, it's not that good. good. I mean, I guess I could. It'll get crunchy. Well, I'll eat an eyeball if you eat the tail. Oh, that's a deal and a <laughs> half. There's nothing wrong with the tail. Did you bring us any s'mores? You did though bring us, apple pie. show us that. Show us the cooler. Let's see what all is in the cooler. If y'all are looking for a nice knife, this is the Lunar Series made by Danko, the same ones I always use, except for I typically use the Pro Series. And this is the first Lunar that I've gotten, and I like it, it's flimsy. It's a little bit flimsier than I like, but for big fish like muttons, it works. This isn't that bad. Oh, you brought my caramels, apple pie, salad, hey, worms. this is important. Pickles. I've already gotten into those. Pickles. You're like a pickle fiend. But we have salad. Oh, this is the goods right here. I would go ahead and say we're glamping. <laughs> we got a whole apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> She'll eat that thing by herself. <laughs> How comfortable are our beds in the tent? Hey, have you tried them yet? No, I'm dirty. They're extremely comfortable. We also got these new lamps that we're gonna tie to these branches and see how bright they are. They were crazy expensive, so if they're not bright, they're going back. I'll eat a cucumber really quick. I'm hungry. I just came over here to check on the fish. She's getting a bite. And look, look, look at her rod. She's <laughs> over there trying to eat a cucumber and she's getting a bite. You see how quick she dropped? Your cucumber landed in the dirt. That's like a catfish, only smaller. <laughs> Look at Redneck's like, just throw it up here. Just let Redneck have that one. 
Man, this thing right here looking tight. Uh oh, it's starting to tear. Yeah, I just avoided a catastrophe by mounting it on that rock right there. Probably two more minutes and it's gonna be done. Did you give it to him? Yeah. Oh, he loves him a catfish. He's so happy. Redneck, show him what you got. Y'all, she dropped that cucumber and ran. There was no hesitation. Luckily, she'd already started cutting it though, so it didn't fall in the dirt. She brought us some fresh pineapple. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys haven't tried that stuff right there, made in Texas, it is legit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I haven't washed my hands in a while, but it should be all right. That's, That's good. good. That's really good. Well, I'm going on about my third hour of no bites. I'm about to come down here and get in her spot though. So when we started packing to come here, we brought bass rods and all kinds of stuff. We were gonna go way out and go fishing, like for bass and shell crackers and all kinds of stuff, and then come back here and catfish. Once we got here, we're like, heck no, we're staying right here. We have been going crazy hard. We got home from Nebraska three days ago at midnight. The next morning was up by seven, headed offshore, which if you haven't watched my last video, Crystal Beachy caught her first tuna. It's a good one. She gets a little bit sick. I'm not gonna say why. So if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Then come back to this one. I edited that video yesterday. It went live today and we're here now. We gotta be in West Palm Beach tomorrow by noon for the outdoor expo. And then we're headed to Wyoming Monday morning. I ain't complaining though. This is the life we chose and I love it. We're headed to Wyoming to go turkey hunting, mountain lion hunting, shed hunting which is antlers that have fallen off deer and elk fossil hunting trout fishing did i say turkey hunting already and turkey hunting doing all kinds of stuff with a good friend of mine named adam we're going to casper wyoming and fishing and fishing trout fishing fly fishing i'm bringing a spinning rod though because i don't have the patience for fly fishing <laughs> jake's super excited about it though jake is so excited about fly fishing it's all he talks about Am I getting a bite really right when they pull up? I think so. Y'all must have smelled the cooking. Yeah. All right, Adam's here. He's got his boy and a friend with him. Crystal is starving. <laughs> Look at this right here. We're not even gonna wash it. We'll just flip it over. We can save this stick right here for cooking deer meat on later. This is actually pretty darn good looking. Let's get a fork. It's important though when you're cooking a whole fish that you cook the head more than you cook the, the bottom half of the fish so it's cooked all the way through. I bet you that piece is pretty good right there. If you guys follow along, you've definitely seen this man right here. What we've done, crappie, shrimp, I was just telling him, I said, you remember when you were about two years old and we did a crappie fishing video and you fell and you cried and we gave you a fish and you were happy enough? I forgot all about that, son. You've grown up. Yeah. Come here and try this fish real quick. Oh, catfish. Oh, catfish. Oh, river cat. Little piece here now. What's your name? Devin. Nice to meet you, Devin. Nice to meet you. you Ain't bad. Catfish. I don't too. This is your home turf, right? This is, that's it. That's Where are you born and raised? Born and raised in Osceola County. Babe, did you try the fish? What'd you put? What'd you season that? Now listen, unfortunately, Adam, listen. I gotta tell you a funny story. Crystal told me if I eat this, she would eat the eyeball. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. Babe. Oh yeah. I even ate all of it. I don't remember saying that. Well, I'll eat an eyeball if you eat the tail. Oh, that's a deal and a half. It's gonna be like a gusher. Heck no, Ew, look at all that. I ain't doing that. It's oozing. I ain't doing that. All right, grab you a chunk right here. <laughs> Try it, babe. Oh God, I really thought you were gonna make me do that. I'm 
stressed. That crack is awesome. Fishy or no? It's a little fishy. <laughs> I think I got a mouth of <laughs> you. I gotta try it now because she said it was super fishy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bud. What is it? Babe, you just you definitely got the fat because this is good. Oh, I know I can never catch a fish, but when we ate um if um I caught some I like You wanna bite? You wanna bite fish? Um, He's over here telling a fishing story to the hot girl. Yep. He goes straight to the woman. Yep. The ladies man. Yeah. Try this piece. Did. Way better. Trust me, way better. We're not even comparable. I did a cast. Way better. And, uh, I That's caught mine, a Dave. fish Thank on you my good own piece. for the first time. Are you telling a fishing story? Give me five. Ow. All right, we're gonna let the sun get a lot closer to the horizon and then we're gonna start fishing a lot more seriously. I think the catfish will definitely bite after dark, if not right at dark, a lot better than they have been. What is that, a snail? Shell. That's neat. Ooh, dog! Big one. Maybe it's not as big as I thought, but, oh, maybe it is. I literally have a piece of catfish in my mouth as I'm reeling in a catfish. That's a little bit better. Yeah. I'm eating cucumber if y'all hear some crunching. <laughs> I literally have a piece of catfish in my mouth. Rolling in a catfish. Good deal. Look at the earth. You can't deny what you caught him on. Turn him <laughs> in the sun so they can see. Big old piece of earthworm. Good job. Thank you. I'm still, I'm on like hour four with no bites. <laughs> Thank you. I think this, I got some competition. <laughs> Never that big. Look how big this thing is. Yeah. Oh, look at his speckles. What is that, a channel or a blue? That's a channel. They call, they call four speckled cats. Huh. Look at that. Pretty. I didn't catch anything. Nothing, not even a bite. What are you shaking your head about? I, I think I'm gonna take you up on the hotel. Why? I'll show you. A snake? Big one. Crickets? Snake. Where's it at? He just swam right across from that side to this side. And he's in our camp somewhere. Oh, he ain't hurt nothing. No. It's a water Big snake. Hand. Was he floating or? He was floating on top of the water with his head up. Like his whole, bo his whole body was floating? Oh yeah, I got a video. Then that's a cotton mouth. His whole body and his head's up, fully black. I got a video. I got to see this. That's a cotton mouth. A, a water snake would be under the water with his head up. His whole body, I'll show you him right now. Why didn't you kill him before he got to camp? What am I supposed to do? There's a hundred thousand rocks right there. I tried to throw a rock at him. It didn't spook, he didn't even spook. He's a man eater. For real? <laughs> For real, I'm about to cry. He was so big. I don't even have a pistol. We have nothing. That's what they hollered at me. Cause he saw him too. He said, do you have a pistol? I'm like, we ain't got nothing. Where did he come ashore? Right here, right and, on the other side. And he came all the way up on the bank? I don't know, I lost him at the bank. All right, let me get this spear. Cause that's a cotton mouth. Giant. Like as big as you? Bigger, let me show you. It's a cotton mouth for sure. I'm not even joking, he's like right there. Swimming right here towards camp. Babe, that's a full blown cotton mouth that you let swim into camp. No, I started throwing rocks at him. I didn't think he was actually gonna come up here. Oh heck no. Oh my lord. Cabe. Oh my god. Look, this is when he sees it. Listen. Look how big he is. <laughs> he said, Crystal, there's a big big ass water moccasin. We could see 200 yards away. You said you all have a pistol or something? 
Lord. We're about to start carrying some rat shot. Look how big he is. Oh man, and he's right here. We're going to a hotel. I'm barefooted, I ain't got nothing to fight him off with. He's got to be right here somewhere. Operation Cottonmouth Removal is on its way. I'm here, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. All I have is a fish gig. But we're gonna at least look for him. So that video showed him coming across right here, going into here somewhere, which does put him pretty close to camp, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I, th I think we're good, babe. You found him? Oh God, I did actually find him. I did, he's right there. Promise? Yeah, he's looking at me. Babe! He's right here. Yeah. Did I go on a snake killing mission or what? I'm so proud of you. Oh, he's still moving. He's not quite as big as I thought he was. But he's, he's pretty darn too big. big to be in camp. I would have never killed this snake if we weren't camping right here. Redneck, no. <laughs> That's a big one. I think you should throw him in the water. That is a home. Gabe, please be careful. How about everything that I harvest with this gig? It's crazy, ain't it? I'm so happy. Come over here and get a close up. <laughs> He's trying to bite it. Can we sleep here now? Yeah, thank you. I'm serious, I'm about to cry. Thank you so much. Look at his be head. Be careful, Gabe. <laughs> Babe, it was just a snake. Thank you. What do you need? Thank you. You <laughs> saved us. I would not have been able to sleep good at all tonight. Do you think that that's the only cottonmouth that lives um, out here? It's the only one that we know about. Come help me. Thank you. It's always an adventure when you're out here in the wild. If it's not a cottonmouth, it's an alligator or something. Yeah. She probably shouldn't tell her about the 10 footer sitting across the canal. <laughs> that's the problem is that snake was not near as dangerous as the gators that are going to swim by here tonight. What you think? Give me Nux. Yeah, I bet that was the first snake you killed. You it was. Gabe got that snake out of here? I couldn't even walk my little trash can. I've never seen a snake alive. <laughs> that snake, I just got it no more than 12 feet from her trash bag that she's been walking to barefoot the entire time. What you got going on over here? I'm cooking deer meat. I eat this, put on this stick for me. Oh, well, it's too bright. Right there. That's perfect. It's just about done already. What are you going to do? Where do you think if... this deer came from? <sighs> Whose deer is this? I don't know. One of the ones we killed. What happens if one of them cottonmouths get in our tent? I hope he comes after you and not me. I'm sleeping I'm in the boat. I'm going to put you next to the, right next to the door. I'm not... This is pretty nice, actually. i got to admit. This, this breeze is, is helping not... us. Do you feel at peace? Yeah. Oh no, my deer mate. Andrew out. brought us some sausage. What kind is that, deer sausage? Yep. You said, tell me the concoction again. Blackberry jalapeno. Who comes up with blackberry jalapeno? I don't know, it's good. He deserves an award, I'll tell you that. I just thought about it. I think our last video was the shrimping video we did in Mims. I think so. That's been a while. It wasn't our best video, but it was our last video. You were sick. Yeah. You had, I think that was when COVID was coming, first came out. I'm I like. I got COVID, but I door dang forgot some stuff during COVID. You were sick that time. Not that I cared, but. <laughs> Flip it one more time, babe. Something just touched my butt while I'm holding this camera. I don't know what it was. Probably a cotton mouth. That piece of sausage right there is done. I'm, for. I'm just checking her out here. I, hey, I have plates. Up. Yeah, you I, got I, them. This one's, he's ready to go there. That one's ready to that go too. I'm interested in this whole blackberry jalapeno babe yours is done you reckon the back piece might not be but it's deer meat you can eat it rare yeah. wouldn't this nice i'm pretty i'm digging my fire pit i built this is relaxing would you do this again gabriel yeah
How many catfish have you caught? I've caught a whole ton of them. I've got a stringer full. How big was the one that you caught while I was over there fishing that I watched you throw back? He's like... That big? No, he wasn't. He was probably... It was the biggest one of the day and you missed it. Well, I didn't miss that cotton mouth. I saved your life. No, you did. How was uh, your fishing extravaganza over there when you took the boat out? I don't know if you've noticed, but besides the bluegill I caught when I first got here, I ain't caught a fish. I probably ain't got no bait on my line. We're going to catfish you the night though, right? Yep. Yep. You guys, this, it doesn't get any more buggy than this. Holy cow. So you can see our campfires right there, 10 feet away. Look at the mosquitoes. Oh gosh, there's so many bugs. You guys, she convinced me to go camping in South Florida. Once it started warming up. Redneck, are you ready to go get in that tent? Tell me you've enjoyed it though. I've absolutely enjoyed it. Peaceful. I'm ready to go catch. I need to catch a fish still. You can use my toe. I need to add another log on Please. the fire. My feet are getting cold. Redneck when he snatches a bug. Oh. What about this though? Y'all look at that apple pie right here on the edge of the water. <laughs> that dog hates a bug. Look at him. Get him. <laughs> it's all fun and games till one lands on your leg. I mean, look at the size of that mosquito right there. Redneck, I don't blame you. I'd bite him too if I could catch him. So did you really think that snake was going to get you? Yeah. That was nuts. And of course he swims up when I'm here completely by myself. Like nobody was here to help me. I even was like, Gabe, <laughs> help. <laughs> I'm ready to go put that icy breeze in that tent and go to sleep. It's gonna feel good. <laughs> that dog is true. He is so focused. The mosquitoes are getting worse, it seems like. Well, good morning, everybody. Y'all get to see me without a hat on. I just heard Crystal over here rustling around. <laughs> Look at this hair. Redneck, what is she doing? You guys, that thing saved my booty last night. That icy breeze is the way to go. Redneck, come here. Don't let him see us. Babe, it's morning time. We, look at that dog. He just... Get, seriously? It's breakfast time. Right down there, we've got about four or five limpkins. And they're walking along the shore. And they go out there in the water and they get these mussels. And they pull them out. I have no idea how they open them. But they do. And they can do it super fast. Limpkin, that's one of the coolest birds I think ever, just to watch how they do it. Somehow they avoid getting ate by alligators and they eat so many of these mussels like this and snails. I mean, look, the whole shoreline littered with them. Babe, you know what the saddest thing about this morning is? What? Not that we're leaving this beautiful campsite, but that we're leaving this awesome grill and fire pit I concocted behind. Look at that, folks. You think it'll still be there? 
Yeah, I'm even leaving a stack of good firewood in it for the next person that comes along. When we got here, this was just laying over there in the bushes. You could barely even see it. I put all these rocks underneath it and then I filled it full of sand, the bottom and the outer layer with rocks so the coals couldn't fall through. And now it's repurposed. So we got camp all cleaned up. The only thing we're leaving behind is that ice right there. Got the tent packed up, all the trash. We even picked up all the trash that was here when we got here. Now we're ready to rip. Redneck, you ready to go? Most importantly, are you ready to go? I guess. Y'all, Crystal Beachy has to work all day today at the Outdoor Expo while I sit home and edit. Which is harder, the Outdoor Expo or editing? I would uh, say editing because you get to meet people all day long. Yeah, but, yeah, maybe. Um, but you promise they'll come back? Yeah. Promise? Even if there's big cotton mouse? Because then I will get them. We'll slay them. Yeah, we got the whole boat packed up. Everything stacked in here. Pretty much how it was when we came. But most importantly, we got the icy breeze. Safe and sound. It's even still got ice in it. Look at that. That helped you a lot last night, didn't it? You got that right. You snored for a little bit. I did? <laughs> I was tired. So I went out and fished last night, just around the corner over there, trying to get a bass, because I never caught a catfish. She caught like 12 and I didn't catch any. When I got back, I wasn't really tired, but I knew I needed to sleep because I got to edit all day. So I got in the tent and I was laying there, almost dozed off and a hoot owl landed in this tree right here and started saying, Ooh, so loud. It was, I mean, loud, loud. And he did it like 20 times. And then this morning, if you're wondering what this other boat is, he pulled up about six o'clock. Crystal jumps up and she goes, babe, what is that? What'd you say? What'd you think was happening? How about people are trying to come in on our camp? I thought we were about to have to defend our fort. <laughs> <laughs> she thought we were I'm under sleeping siege. And yeah, I'm like thinking, I don't know. <laughs> you thought we were under attack? <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in getting one of these icy breezes like I have, head to the link in the description below this video and order yours today. They're 289 bucks. Get yourself a cool breeze and be able to take cold drinks wherever you go at the same time. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you wanna see more camping videos. I would call this glamping though because you see all the stuff we had in the boat. I'm not going any rougher than this unless I absolutely have to, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape. See y'all.